Admiral Yi Sun Sin 1545-1598 was a famous general and admiral of the Joseon dynasty in Korea. He is famous for his bravery in fighting against the Japanese fleet led by Toyotomi Hideyoshi in the late 16th century. Born into a wealthy noble family, Yi Sun Sin received military education and devoted himself to the Joseon dynasty. In 1591, he was appointed as admiral and given the responsibility of leading the navy. In 1592, the Japanese army attacked Korea and threatened the existence of the Joseon dynasty. Yi Sun Sin immediately mobilized his navy and succeeded in winning several important victories against the Japanese fleet, although he often found himself in difficult situations. One of the most famous moments in Yi Sun Sin's career was the Battle of Myanyang in 1597. In that battle, Yi's fleet, consisting of only 13 ships, managed to defeat a much larger Japanese fleet, with only one ship lost. The Battle of Myanyang took place on October 26, 1597, in the waters of the Myanyang Strait, South Korea. The Japanese fleet, led by Wakazaki Asaharu, consisted of about 133 ships, had defeated several Joseon fleets before, and was now moving towards the southern coast of Korea to besiege Angolpo, an important port near Miliang. On the other hand, the fleet led by Admiral Yi Sun Sin consisted of only 13 damaged ships operated by exhausted crews. However, Yi Sun Sin decided to confront the Japanese fleet because he believed they had tactical and strategic advantages. In the battle that lasted about 12 hours, Yi Sun Sin used clever naval warfare tactics and succeeded in defeating the Japanese fleet. He ordered his ships to form a strong defensive formation called the Turtle Ship, consisting of ships connected by bamboo ropes to form a block that resembled a turtle. These ships were also equipped with steel walls and cannons that allowed them to fire projectiles with high accuracy. Yi Sun Sin also used tactics to deceive the enemy by making fires on his ships, making the Japanese believe that the Joseon fleet had more ships. With these clever tactics, Yi Sun Sin managed to destroy 31 Japanese ships and injure more than 4,000 Japanese soldiers while only losing one ship. The Battle of Myanyang is considered a very important victory for Joseon and has become a legend in Korean history. Unfortunately, after the war ended, Yi Sun Sin was framed by his political enemies and sentenced to death in 1598. There were several factors that led to Yi Sun Sin being framed and sentenced to death by his political enemies after the war. One of them was because Yi Sun Sin was a leader who was very honest and firm in his principles, so he often clashed with corrupt officials in the palace. During the war, Yi Sun Sin not only succeeded in winning important battles against Japan, but also showed his success in protecting the people and avoiding unnecessary sacrifices. This resulted in his influence becoming stronger and making many of his political enemies feel threatened. In addition, there was a high-ranking official named Yu Seong Ryang who was very jealous of Yi Sun Sin's success and disagreed with the war tactics he used. He tried to find faults in Yi Sun Sin and submitted a false report to the Joseon king that Yi Sun Sin had violated military rules. Although the allegations turned out to be untrue, the Joseon king, who was also caught up in political intrigues, decided to sentence Yi Sun Sin to death. In the end, the Joseon king realized his mistake and posthumously awarded Yi Sun Sin a title, honoring his contributions in Korean history. In the eyes of history, Yi Sun Sin is considered a great national hero of Korea, and his contributions are never forgotten by the Korean people. However, the tragedy at the end of his life also serves as a valuable lesson for us to always uphold integrity and adhere to principles that are right, even when we face many obstacles and challenges in our lives.